Well, our first guest is joining us in studio, Mr. Larry Wilcox. He's a spokesperson for Optimized Fuel Technologies Incorporated. Uh, Larry, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thanks for now, having me. A lot of folks probably recognize you. Of course, you were the star of Chips a few years ago. You're also an <laughs> award-winning uh, producer. But we're here to talk about the Optech Fuel Maximizer. Now, when we spoke on the phone last week, you had mentioned that this device that can be installed in basically any vehicle or, or mm -hmm. internal combustion engine not only improves uh, fuel economy, but also reduces emissions. Right, right. It's really a unique uh, technology. It's a combination of things, but by installing it in any gas or diesel engine uh, that has an onboard computer, those are key parameters, uh, that device will increase uh, miles per gallon anywhere from 20 to 50%. And uh, in my own case, even greater, mm -hmm. and one of my son's cars, and uh, it'll reduce emissions, uh, you know, 90 to 100 uh, percent. Defined emissions, well, you know, uh, nitric oxide, uh, organic methane gases like hydrocarbons, and um, and of course uh, carbon monoxide. So by doing those two things, and then it increases the torque or the performance of the vehicle, which is really gives a lot of more zip to a car that almost feels like it has a balanced engine after installing this. So it's a non-intrusive device, uh, aftermarket add-on, and uh, I'm really impressed with it. Well, the young lady that brought us a car to look at, and we'll be looking at the engine in a few moments, she said that she had, had noticed that she increased her fuel mileage uh, by 50%. Wow. Well, in my son's case, we put it on a Dodge Hemi, and by the way, you know, when you do testimonies anymore, nobody believes anybody. Of course. And so I say this, uh, you know, you can only give your own testimony about what happened to you. And I would say to the audience, they should do the same. But I put it on my Dodge Hemi four-wheel drive for my son. Went from 13 miles per gallon to 20.5 miles per wow. gallon. Put it on the Volkswagen. You know, the Volkswagen diesel is a really interesting scenario. Uh, here you have a car that tests dirty brand new. And by test dirty... If you look at the onboard computer, the cheat sheet go, goes around that. If you don't turn the steering wheel, the cheat sheet goes around mm -hmm. that. If you don't have all four wheels on a Dynatrack, the cheat sheet goes around that. So we have avoided all that and put the probe in the tailpipe to analyze the five gases. And uh, so we removed, we, we took a brand new Volkswagen that tested dirty. Knox rating was 100 plus, almost mm -hmm. 200. And uh, we took that NOx rating down to zero in 30 minutes. Wow. In my daughter's case, um, we uh, installed the device. It was 30-some miles per gallon, and now she's at 42. Wow. And uh, then I put it on my son's little Toyota Tacoma, and that's enough vehicles, you know. And uh, he's doing great, too. He went from 16 to 19 so far, so we'll see how he does, you know. Well, now, this Volkswagen controversy that you spoke about, I mean, they're looking at $18 billion in fines, but you're... Your Optech fuel maximizer actually solves their problem, correct? Yes. Um, according to the company, our reps and warranties in terms of the CEO, uh, we believe that we have the solution for VW. But it isn't just VW. It's VW, uh, Porsche, Audi, Renault. Uh, all are having emission issues, uh, notwithstanding all the ports, the port in Los Angeles and so on. So all of these groups, specifically poor Volkswagen, you know, standing to lose 8 to $18 billion dollars, uh, people lining up for class action suits. Um, every attorney you talk to is bringing clients as a lawsuit against them. And my hope is that Volkswagen will survive and uh, that we would be the panacea, that we know we're the solution. Mm -hmm. We've tested Volkswagen in multiple uh, facilities, smog stations, California smog stations, carb approved stations, uh, all of which said that this is a solution. Now, I mean, I guess the obvious question would be, has anyone at the company tried to reach out to Volkswagen? We have. It's been really frustrating. Um, I say this uh, with a certain amount of naivete because I always want to be a gentleman to a right. company like Volkswagen, and we don't understand their inside problems, so why are we commenting on right, their end? Right. So as a gentleman, I would say, yes, you know, I've called senators, I've called governors, I called mayors in Tennessee where their uh, corporate offices were, their manufacturing plant in Chattanooga uh, won't return calls. Mm. I've called their head attorney in terms of the emissions, their head engineer I call every single day. Um, so our goal is not to be parasitic, but to be a positive catalyst and a solution for them. And if they would just take five to ten minutes of really 
skilled engineered minds to look at this process, I think they would come to the conclusion this is uh, an instant solution. And their solution heretofore is a solution that makes the car run worse. Worse gas mileage, yes, the emissions are better, but the car runs worse. In our case, the car runs better, better miles per gallon, and no emissions. Well, as I mentioned, we have some footage underneath the uh, hood of a, of a car that has the optimized, uh, the Optech fuel maximizer installed. The first thing I look at, it's that small little red thing in the corner. That's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. It is quite small. You know, it, it's really composed of three components. It has a really tiny air filter that takes in ambient air into the device. Mm -hmm. You'll notice a little red wire to the positive battery that only takes milliamps from the battery. Uh, it's a non-intrusive device, which means that it isn't intruding on any of the manufacturer's warranty or anything within the engine. Uh, it then injects hydrogen into the vacuum line. And as a result, we don't mess with the onboard computer. Okay. The onboard computer reads this and says, this is magnificent. We need less fuel to run this engine. So it takes less fuel over time. The particulate matter is cleaned out of the combustion chamber. Uh, you know, the ionization process that we do in terms of nanotechnology, really small mm -hmm. hydrogen and oxygen molecules injected in there is sometimes referred to as a plasma technology. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are using these kinds of technologies to get off the grid, by the way. Okay. Uh, so this is a, these are technologies that are unique. No one that we know of, keyword that we know of, uh, have combined the two ionization and electrolysis in a simple device that sends micro hydrogen and oxygen to the combustion chamber. Now this, according to the company, is a simple aftermarket installation in, in a passenger car. It takes about an hour or so to install. Uh, what's a typical retail price, do you know? Yes, the retail price is $599 for a passenger car. Uh, we go all the way up to big semi trucks, which mm -hmm. are $4,000. And then there's a midsize unit, which is $2,400. So $599, $2,400, and $4,000. Um, but the ROI model, return on investment model for a big truck or a fleet of trucks, you know, you ask a fleet of trucks what are their ma major expenses. Yeah. It's always the same payroll and fuel. Right. And so could, if we reduced your fuel by 20%, up to 50%, would you be interested? Yes, I'd be interested, but, Larry, I don't believe it. Good, we'll, we'll put one on your vehicle. We'll give your money back in 30 days of the 30-day money-back guarantee. Remove the device. It won't affect your engine. And if you don't save 20 or greater percent, you have no risk. We've mitigated all the risk in the system. Once again, Optimized Fuel Technologies Incorporated. For more information, go to their website, optechmpg.com. Larry Wilcox, fascinating story. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.